This is Thinking About a Genius on Thursdays. And today I'm thinking about one of my favorite painters of all time, Chaim Soutine. I can't think of another painter who painted so beautifully and violently heinous and dead things. And he also had a sincere rawness to many of his portraits and earnestness. And I, there's just so many things I, I love and learned from him. Part of the reason why I have such a connection to him is when I learned or discovered him. I was 23 and I just spent the winter alone as a castle caretaker in the south of France. And after the winter was over, I went to Paris and it was spring and wet and cold. And I strolled along to the Orangerie Museum and I was just mesmerized by these portraits of busboys and waiters and chef. I, it was through Satine that I discovered the mystery of painting red and blue together. He just had a way of putting them that just was so euphoric to me. Like I, I found it so mesmerizing. Just his magical use of Prussian blue and I think for about 15 years after that, I never used black. I used Prussian blue in lieu of black. And I just found him so amazing. He also, there's a famous story of him putting a carcass in his studio and the neighbors called the police because the stench was awful. And he evidently explained to the police that there there are greater rules to art than than to hygiene and that he was he was obeying a higher law um and so i think a lot about soutine a couple years i think i painted only in reds and blues and soutine was the painter most in my mind during that period and there's another great story. He was penniless most of his life. And the famous American collector Barnes bought 60 paintings of his in one day. And he supposedly ran out into the street as soon as he got the money, hailed a cab and took it all the way to the south of France. There's something so immediate and spontaneous. And when I think of Kaiman Nicolaides, the natural way of draw, he said that there are two kinds of drawings. One is painstaking and the other is furious. And Heim just really gives you the furious. Those paintings of the carcasses the rich, rich reds, the most vibrant reds and the deep, deep blues. And I just, anytime these, paint, these colors show up in my paintings, I, I can't help but think of him. Um, he died when he was 50 years old in 1943 from a, if you didn't know about Soutine, do yourself a favor, go out and try to see them in person. They're beautiful in, in books and then digital, but in person, you feel the flesh of the paintings.